Hassan Sheikh Mohamud was president of Somalia once before. Now he's back in office again. My country needs to work forward and not go backward, and it doesn't need violence and revenge. Whatever was done to people, we call for forgiveness. This time, the gunfire on the streets of the capital Mogadishu is in celebration rather than armed conflict. People here are glad to have a change of leader. Hassan Sheikh defeated outgoing President Mohamed Abdullahi Mohamed, known as Farmajo, whose popularity has declined over his five years in office. His critics say he's made Somalia's conflicts and economy worse and that he tried to stay in power by stalling the election. It was meant to happen more than a year ago. Somalis don't actually get to vote. MPs were chosen by officials and clan representatives. Then the MPs voted for presidential candidates in a series of three rounds. It's an electoral system that was introduced after Somalia's central government collapsed in 1991. It's been much criticised. It was meant to be transitional so that Somalia could move to having elections with one person, one vote. That hasn't happened. But one thing that this system has always delivered is a change of a head of state. Everyone familiar with the process says buying of votes and corruption are widespread, but loyalties aren't guaranteed. In the last round, it was the opposition uniting against outgoing President Farmajo that tipped the balance. But Hassan Sheikh inherits some major challenges. The armed group Al-Shabaab is stronger than it was when his first term ended five years ago. It controls swathes of the countryside. And Somalia has been suffering one of its worst droughts in decades. The UN has warned of a pending famine. More than 700,000 people have lost their farms and livestock and fled the countryside into camps. They urgently need help. But in Mogadishu, it's a moment for optimism. We celebrate the victory of President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud. We want him to prioritize security and establish one person, one vote and create jobs, especially for the youth. The extended election period has been tense and sometimes violent. Now it's over, people hope things will get better. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Mogadishu, Somalia.